Hello. Happy Arvo. Thank you for joining me today for the scariest storm moments in Australia. Ooh, spooky. If I get too scared, I've got this stuffed emu here. Don't worry. To hold on to. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Let's watch. From the unbelievable. With over a million subs. Dang. Hello there, and well- Hello. Don't know what my computer is doing. Welcome to the unbelievable. Holy crap. The size of these hail balls might be the biggest you've ever seen. Honestly, those hail balls are absolutely insane, but this trampoline is also really catching my eye. I've never seen a trampoline like that in America. I have- it, there's a very unique spring system. Someone let me know if that is just an Australian, typical Australian trampoline, or if this is weird. Ours here just have springs, like, that connect to the mat. You guys have, or that one has metal rods that flex. I think that's a trampoline. Anyway, these, <laughs> the hail is insane. That is a softball. I mean, would you, you would, you, you could die. Far out. <laughs> Far out. This guy definitely has insurance. <laughs> or else he'd be a lot more upset. I'd never seen hell like that. I mean, that could kill you. <laughs> the video cut right when you hear the broken glass. Um... I always wonder, like, after a, a hailstorm like that, I've never seen that, but after a hailstorm, a bad one, does the whole city just need, pretty much everything needs to be covered by insurance, huh? That must be the biggest insurance claim of all time. Every car has a thousand dents. So do you guys get snow more often than you get, or hail more often than you get snow? Hail breaks through the office windows in Woongoolabar, Queensland. <laughs> to be Check honest, it would be incredibly fun. Incredibly rare occurrence to be just hunkered down with your coworkers during a hailstorm. You know, you don't have to work. That'd be the cool part. You wouldn't have to work. Just hunkered down. Be like, like the end of the world. Is that a freaking tornado? Oh my god. a water god. spout tornado filmed on the coast of New South Wales. Look at that. Far out. <laughs> That's the same guy from earlier. If that hits us, it'll just suck us up into the air. That's a pretty common Australian phrase. Fuck! We get another trampoline, and that one is different too. Uh, the hell. An Irish traveler films a massive sandstorm in the Aussie outback. Because I feel like a tornado affects, that can be hugely devastating, but it's got like a path. And they're usually not super wide. A hailstorm, I feel like that just hits everything in the entire city. How do you ever <laughs> repair all that? Holy shit. Look at that, right on the wall of two different worlds. Never seen anything remotely like this. It's as high as the Brisbane River is going to get this afternoon, but tomorrow afternoon- <laughs> Kudos to this guy. There's another matter. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Which one to use out there? Yeah, this guy forgot to check the weather.
win. A man records his house wobbling from oh. very harsh winds. I guess it's up on stilts for the flooding. I mean, if I were him, I think he might as well just root for it to fall. Have the whole thing fall and, well, you've got all your stuff inside is the problem. Assuming everybody's out, I don't know. It's like you might as well just have it fall and have insurance buy, pay for a whole new house. I'm, 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 I'm joking. That would probably be a bigger pain. With all this water, there are all kinds of spiders and other creepy crawlies floating around. Roadside trees take a beating as a summer storm hits Queensland. This is way more intense than any storm I've ever seen. It's like hurricane type stuff. I've never heard of a hurricane hitting Australia. I didn't expect that to see this much hail. I would not feel safe in a car. Oh, yeah. So today's drive home from the ride was pretty eventful. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that the most tame, oh! chill tornado ever? <laughs> Is it even a tornado? What is that? People are literally just standing there 50 a feet away. A severe storm is recorded in Brisbane back in 2014. insane than anything. Isn't Twister a movie? I mean, I know it's a movie. <laughs> but that's more insane than anything that was in Twister. Oh. Oh, wow. A strange dust devil is recorded in Western Australia. Dust devil. That's what that other thing was. That is so cool. I love the dust devils. It's like a little tornado, but they're not, they don't look dangerous. So you could just go, I mean, could you just go run up into one? Probably not smart. You get the wedge out and start chipping those uh, those hails off the off the porch. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. This would be fun here with all your coworkers standing, just watching. Especially since you're not at home, you're at your business. You know, like you're not as concerned about what happens there. You just all be like, "Whoa!" Ooh, whoa. See, they're not, they're like it, entertained. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. That is so neat. Oh my God. 
How freaking neat, and it's not even, there's no storm. Here is a time lapse of a Sydney train station flooding. <laughs> Brisbane hail okay. wreaks havoc on a train station in the CBD. Did it blow this trash can sideways? <laughs> That's some strong wind. Cars in Melbourne would have most definitely needed repairs after this. Yeah, every single car. That's what I'm saying. How insane is that? It's a wall of rain. <laughs> yes. That's what I came to see. Hey, another trampoline. <laughs> I need to see what kind of springs it's got on it. Shit, I'm not kidding. I need to. Not hard to tell. It does not look like normal springs. I mean, American normal. Thank you for watching. I'm fascinated by the difference of trampolines. I wonder why that why that is. Yours look more safe. Here in America, the ones with the springs that go along in it, you can slip and your foot goes in there. You never hear from those people again who that happens to. Anyway, happy Arvo, guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you for all the kind comments and everything. I always love to read them, me and my wife. And Jace, of course. Uh, I hope to see you again tomorrow. <coughs> Hopefully I'll be alive. Uh, bye.